So what you're gonna need for this are different colored bell peppers. Um, just so you have a variety and you're gonna cut off the top. All right, seed the inside, just like that. And the bottom, you're gonna cut off as well, okay? I'm gonna use that bottom later, so I'll put that aside. I'm gonna insert a little cut in like that. I'm gonna open this up. I don't need to use the whole thing, so I'm just gonna cut and use a small section of it. Take out this white part, because that's a bitter piece. Now, <clears throat> one second. Now Sam, if you come in very close over here, you could see that there's a lot of meat before you get to the, actually the do from here. There's a lot of meat before you get to the skin. I wanna take off about 50% of that meat. So I need a very thin, sharp knife to do it. If my knife is thick, it probably won't happen. This Mercer knife is very thin and I'll be able to cut through the whole thing. So I'm just gonna try to separate like half of the meat from the skin. Okay, and it might take two, three times to do it. I'll show you my first slice. You see I took off about that much. There's still more in there. I'm gonna take off a little bit more now. All right. Yeah, that second slice almost did it. If you see I took off that, I'm left with nothing but almost the skin and maybe like 50% of the meat left. And boom, just like that in our cold water. And these guys should curl in about a half hour to an hour. All right, so look, I got all three of my bell peppers in there and they're gonna start to curl in about a half an hour. So we'll see you then. So as you guys can see, these guys have been here for about 15 minutes and they're already starting to curl. Um, but for best results, leave these overnight, but you'll see results in as little as 30 minutes. But it's nice, it's got beautiful bright colors, especially when you leave it in the ice water, like the colors start to really brighten. Um, that's what I love about this, you can add color to any dish, it's gorgeous. So listen, we just made a beautiful garnish. I hope you guys could take this and incorporate it in whatever you're making. Uh, it's definitely something great to change things up with. But yeah, so subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great ideas and for perfect, beautiful chef supplies, come visit us at tigerchef.com. See you guys around.